Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge cumulative thrift outlet haul to share. I have over 70 items here that I have sourced from my two favorite outlet stores here in Houston, both the Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill bins, where I do pay $2.19 per pound, as well as the Family Thrift Center outlet, where I pay $2 per item. So I paid right around $150 for everything you'll see in this haul. We have five pairs of shoes here, a few accessories, and then the rest is clothing. So starting off with shoes, our first pair are Minnetonka moccasins which this brand has always sold pretty well for me. It's a consistent seller, high quality materials. These are genuine moose, which I think they're relatively new with this tag still being on. Actually, there is some residue on the sole, so probably not, but they are in great condition, size seven and a half, incredibly soft. They have the kilty detail up top. Next, a for sure tried and true, not only brand, but style of shoe within the brand. These are Steve Madden Troopa boots. I have sold these several times for, I would say 28 to 35 ish. Sometimes you can get closer to 40 if they're brand new. I would say these will sell for around $30. They're like a stone gray. They are a size 11, which is great. I don't find that size often. Yet another solid seller for me. These are Lucky Brand. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that, but these are really pretty boots. I have polished them up. They needed just a little bit of Dr. Martin, Doc Martin Wonder Balsam. That's my holy grail shoe conditioner or leather conditioner. I do have it linked down below as well as all of my other reseller supply. So yeah, these are gorgeous. They're a heeled boot with this fold over detail. They are a size seven and a half. They're called the Nycot boots. And I mean, these are in amazing shape. Fourth pair of shoes here. These are Jeffrey Campbell. I found these at the bins. They are a reptile kitten heel with a lace up around the leg. It is a pretty big lace up, so it might be like a gladiator type shoe. I searched forever for a stock photo and I was not able to find one on these, so if you can find one, I would be super happy. Seven and a half, genuine leather. And our last pair of shoes are by the brand Vince, which Vince retails for a ton of money. These shoes, I would guess, were around. $250 retail. They are genuine leather, ankle strap sandals, like a short block heel leather sandal. Very minimalist, kind of contemporary. Even though Vince retails for a ton, the resale value does not always translate completely, but these should do pretty well because they are a closet staple type shoe and they're a size 11, which once again, you don't see too often. Okay, so that's it for shoes. We will move into clothing now. Starting off, I just have one children's piece. I thought this was adorable. I found it at the bin, so I probably only paid like a dollar fifty. Janie and Jack collection, seven to eight years old. This little double breasted girl's coat. The buttons have like a lacquer with a bow little detail. So cute. It has pockets. It's fully lined. One little button in back. Adorable. Two poncho cape wrap type items. I always grab these when I see them. They are an easy like $25 to $28 sale. The brand does not matter to me. I've never heard of this. Kiara. But it's a size large, extra large, which is great. Neutral color palette. This one does not have armhole, so it is a true kind of kimono wrap, fringe trim. I just throw these up on my mannequin and it really shows how they fit well. It does have a one button closure in front. And then we have a Lane Bryant kind of wrap vest 
item here. How cute is this for the springtime fringe trim yet again? This is super soft. I actually really like this color block stripe detail. I'm usually not one for bold prints and graphics, but I love this color combo and it's very soft, really nice. I think this is a newer tag from Lane Bryant. It's a size 14, 20. Yeah, it is from May of 2021. So a lot of brands will actually print the actual date that the item was manufactured on an interior tag. This is just a small white tag. And if you can see, it does say 521, which tells me that this was manufactured in May of 2021. So definitely a newer item there. Next up, we have LL Bean Signature, size large. I don't always pick up LL Bean, but this is a really nice navy plaid print blouse with a tie waist. It is a size large and it's 100% linen. So this will be great for spring and summertime. I'm really trying to stock up on linen. Yeah, 100% linen. And LL Bean is for sure a brand that people know. They love it. They search for it. They know their size in it, which is very important. This, in contrast, is more of a boutique type item, lay list collection, size medium. I got this mainly because of the fabric and the cut. It's a really pretty, like baby doll style, tiered mini dress with buttons and this gauzy brushed cotton material has been very popular. So I will add all of that into the listing as keywords. Love the neutral color on that. We have a graphic sweatshirt, which you guys know I love. This is Soul Angeles by Anthropology or in collaboration with Anthropology, size extra small. It says La Femme, really cute. It's like a charcoal gray color. This is like my, my kind of sweatshirt for sure. I actually have a couple pieces exactly like that in the same brand. This is just Style & Co, which I see pretty often and I definitely do not always get it, but this one had the right combination of factors for me to pick up. It's a size extra large. It looks brand new, button down front, tie waist with contrasting polka dot trim and this adorable novelty Vespa mope, moped kind of print. So this is adorable. How fun would this be on like a summer trip, neutral color scheme, everything about that I love. So I had to get it for $2, could not pass it up. Moving on, we have Torrid size 2X. This is definitely one of my favorite bread and butter brands. Sells very quickly and consistently for me. So this is a lace-up maxi dress with tassel details. Just a very flowy kind of trapeze style maxi dress in, I think they call this a chalice fabric. I'm not too sure what that means. I think it's just like rayon, but I have seen Torrid use the keyword chalice pretty often. So I use that as well because some people search out specific style names that they know and like. Next up, we have a Lucky Brand size 14W neutral leopard print capri jeans. They are unzipped, but that's okay. And the print to these is actually called the Spring Cheetah print. That looks more of a leopard to me, but either way, really cute, great for springtime. These would be so adorable with just like a blue chambray top and some flats. Next up, we have a dress, Eileen Fisher. This is going back to what I was just mentioning about that gauzy brushed cotton material. So I was super excited to find this. This probably retailed for around $185 would be my guess. It's a button down kind of plum colored dress. I would say Eileen Fisher is pretty similar to Vince, like I was mentioning earlier, in that it does retail for a whole lot, but the resale value does not always match up to that. This will probably sell for around $45. Free People, 
just a closet staple little bodysuit here neutral color matches everything i did wash this i always wash bodysuits it's intimately free people in a size small next up she and sky i rarely buy this brand this might be the first time i've ever picked it up but i did like the color you guys know me and cut kind of construction of this sweater it has a rolled sleeve with a wide boxy fit high low very slouchy v-neck so i think this will sell pretty easily for around 25 dollars i do like finding this brand very kind of contemporary brand cos cos this is a size two how adorable is this so it's this very lightweight summer dress with a geometric kind of abstract print to it it's like a watercolor look really cool and very well made i think yeah it does have pockets which we love more linen i am not kidding when i say i am just keeping my eyes peeled for linen click by color me cotton made in usa size large this is this particular style and cut material up top is exactly what i'm looking for right now it has interest to it with this pleating a pocket some asymmetrical details going on button front it's also 100 percent linen and it's that lag and look kind of style this stuff flies out of my closet really nice steel gray color and it does have the roll tab sleeve so you can wear those long or roll them up american eagle pants i got these mainly because they are the newer tag the font is just very slightly different from the older tag but it is a noticeable kind of thing uh, these are a size four they're a plaid print high rise they kind of have that 90s academia look to them so i will add 90s grunge y2k academia and i think these would be super cool with a pair of doc martens and just like a black baby tee this was a style and material based pickup it's just liz claiborne size large it's a hundred percent silk and it has this adorable flower pot novelty print how cute is this this is also very kind of 90s style this might have actually been made in the 90s so that would make sense it's like that boxy cut with the button up uh construction adorable so cute with some very high rise mom jeans speaking of we have a pair of high rise denim shorts these are like the perfect kind of denim short right now i love finding high rise in good condition joe's i don't pick up all joe's just because the demand does not seem to be super high for this brand but these probably retailed for around 100 150 ish and they're a good size they're size 31 cotton lysl blend really good shape i am definitely trying to stock up on shorts so in the warmer weather months for my business i do focus on sandals shorts linen lightweight wraps and scarves mini dresses sundresses accessories beach hats did i say sandals i think i said sandals just basically anything beachy cover-ups swim so yeah those are my that's my focus right now this i thought was adorable kind of speaking of this would be so cute to wear with a beach hat and some sandals it has this very romantic kind of style to it ruffle hem sweetheart neckline it does have some smocking at the chest so seems like it'd be very flattering this does not look to be a super expensive brand by any means be cool size medium but i could not pass it up for two dollars i'm sure it will sell for around 25 ish same kind of thing with this top uh, it was mainly a style and size based grab 
The brand is Hope Springs. I mainly got it because it's a size extra, extra large and it has the cutest print ever. So it's like a bold paisley print in front with a little tie, buttons down. And then you have a contrasting floral print in back. This is adorable. I love this. So boho also has the roll tab sleeves. So, so cute with, I mean, how cute would this be with den some denim shorts and a hat, some sandals, a cute purse. Next up we have Chico's, kind of like linen. I have been having my eyes peeled for Chico's because I, every item that I have listed from this brand has sold like same day or next day. So I have really been enjoying selling it. I thought this was cute. It's kind of like a lightweight jacket, or you could just wear it as a top, but for sure could also just layer it over a tank. It has these sequins and I think it has some like random words throughout, like in back it just says happy here and then somewhere on the sleeve it says oh yeah it says respect so that's kind of interesting just just some fun words and then near the tag it says love so we love that it's also 70% silk and 30% linen which I was not aware of but that definitely does add to the sellability of the item I would say Next, we have a brand that I've been hearing a lot about, Marine Layer. I know that this retails for a lot. I'm not sure how the resale value is. I think pretty good. This is just a basic striped tank, v-neck tank in a size extra small. But I did get it because it is 55% linen. So very soft, lightweight. We will see how this does. I thought it would just be a nice kind of wardrobe staple for someone this summer. How cute is this? Vintage maxi dress. I do usually get any vintage floral print maxi dresses that I see just because they sell so well for me. I love the dark floral print on this. Again, how cute would this be with some chunky Doc Martens? It does button all the way down, which I, which I do think will be kind of a selling point to it. It's like a baby doll cut as well, so really pretty. The vintage brand is New Mints. It's a size medium, 100% rayon made in India. Next up, a brand I always love to see. I definitely don't find it enough. Reformation jeans, just a basic t-shirt, but I mean this will still sell for around $30. It's a nice light green color, crew neck, ribbed, soft stretchy material. This is an exciting find. It is men's Lululemon. I saw it being tossed around in a bin. I saw this rib tag just kind of flying around and I knew exactly what it was. So it's a button down, size extra large men's shirt with a contrasting chest pocket. Really nice, great condition. Here is the logo, which I'm sure everyone is very familiar with now. Moving on, another exciting find. You guys know I love my soft surroundings. It has always sold very well for me. Let me reattach the strap here. This dress kind of confused me. I think the straps are fully adjustable. So they're braided. It's a braided strap, as you can see. And in order to fasten it to the back, you just kind of separate the braid and stick the button into the braid, if you can see this. Uh, so I was a little bit confused I don't know, it was kind of tricky when I had it on my mannequin and it's being kind of tricky right now. It doesn't want to stay within the braid. So I'll have to figure that out. But either way, it's a really pretty 
dress. It's a cream color. The padding is still attached. This is the waist. The braided detail continues. And then it is maxi length, very soft, stretchy jersey knit. And I believe it is new without tax because it does still have the additional button there. 100% viscose. It's a size petite extra large. And this is really nice because you don't have to wear a bra. Like I said, it does have padding. So, you know, with the braided straps and back, I think it is a little bit of an open back kind of situation. You wouldn't have to worry about your bra being everywhere. Another very warm weather type item. This is a cover up from Matilda Jane, which this is another brand that sells really well for me. People seem to be actively looking for this brand and specific items, size extra, extra large. Within this brand, you can, they do have specific items that mom can wear and child can wear, so you can kind of match your kid. So I think a lot of moms do specifically search out items that they can wear. Um, so yeah, this is fun. It's like a rose colored print with a little fringe trim that will focus. There we go. And then a tassel detail in the middle. Waist tie with tassels. Next we have another tricky item to hold up. Zara. I did put this on the mannequin so I will insert some pics because this is going to be very hard. So this is the front. It's this really vibrant kind of tropical print, botanical print with a very interesting sleeve. And then the back, it is a genuine wrap top and the ties wrap around the blouse several times so I'm not going to be able to show it fully but it is very pretty and size small it feels like 100% cotton next I grabbed this at the family thrift center outlet for two dollars mainly because of the cut and material I had never heard of this brand, Cali 1850 Los Angeles, size small, but it is a jumpsuit, which sell very well for me. It's almost like an overall style jumpsuit with a wide cropped leg. It's kind of like an eggplant color, I would say, and it's a linen blend. I don't, here's the tag. Yeah, 55% linen, size small. Speaking of linen, I definitely was not kidding. We have Tahari. I am pretty picky with Tahari. I will not pick up the diffusion lines like T by Tahari, but this main line does do well for me, especially their 100% linen items, which this is. Really fun, boxy blouse with a button up detail and back. So, how adorable is that? I found both of these in a bin. I found one and I passed it up just because it was too plain, but then I found the other and so I did get them to bundle together. They are both Talbot's size medium black sweaters with some cute details. This one has a lettuce edge or lettuce hem. I'm pretty sure that's what that's called. Trim, lettuce trim around the collar and contrast white sleeves and then the second one has a pearl collar so really cute both size medium both in excellent condition i'll probably lot them up for around 30 dollars more soft surroundings this is really pretty it's like a, an oversized floral print high low hem does have pockets this is kind of like tunic length v-neck very soft in a size medium. Zara, I loved this. This is another piece that I had to put on my mannequin to show how it fits. It's a halter top and a really nice substantial feeling material with this very interesting kind of knot 
design in front and then a low open back so really pretty and i believe yeah this is the newer tag from zara which does great for me size medium okay last item in our first bag is tried and true band tee we love band tees this is kiss and it has some distressing around the neckline which should be a selling point the brand is vintage canvas in a size medium designed in los angeles very soft and comfy Alrighty, getting into our second bag starting off with one of my favorite brands this is free people it's a snap down blouse top very interesting sleeve this is also that gauzy kind of brushed cotton material very lightweight it's collared it does have a drawstring in back this is one of the newer tags from we the free i don't know if it is the newest but definitely newer size small and this i don't think i showed it but the bottom hem is really cool it's like an ombre kind of look it fades from green to blue so that's interesting next up another kind of boutique brand that you know the brand doesn't mean much to me i picked this up more so based on print cut and material so uh anything with tie dye bleach effect dip dye ombre always performs better for me for sure again it's a jumpsuit cut with a wide leg and it is a very soft stretch jersey knit material so super wearable very boho and fun you could lounge in this you could run errands in this or i mean you could put a denim jacket over this and wear it to dinner or whatever um, you could wear it to the beach it also has pockets which we love yeah i'm not seeing a tag but that's all right. Very cute. Excited for that. A cute and quirky pickup here. I do not always get Old Navy, but this was a size extra, extra large. It was in excellent condition and it has the cutest print ever. So it's, what is it? It's like a lot of women doing activities like roller skating, hula hooping, yoga skateboarding so yeah very cute i love the pale pink little chest pocket 100 percent cotton this was a new to me brand i still i haven't done research on it yet so i'm still not too sure you know what it looks like what the retail or resale value looks like but i did see that it was designed in australia which anything that has you know anything about australia or australian sizing i do kind of gravitate towards to look up and research because some australian brands can sell for a ton this i i think the style will carry it even if this is just kind of like a lower boutique kind of brand i liked the ruching on the sides it seems very flattering it's like a thick ribbed knit material more linen very excited for this piece this is like the quint quintessential summertime piece that i'm looking for it's a bright pink 100 percent linen tahari 2x 1x blouse so cute with the little buttons at the side they are mother of pearl buttons which i always think is so pretty and it's a longer length which a lot of people like so i will put tunic in the listing free people bodysuit yet again i actually found this one with the cream bodysuit it has a little split at the chest kind of a textured material and they do both snap at the bottom so easy on off size small next up i just kind of threw this into my cart at the bins as like a bundle item gap size medium chambray i think i forgot to mention that in my summer list or warm weather list but i do stock up on chambray in the warmer weather months as well this is a really cute boxy essential 
kind of blouse. I was excited to find this. I did not know this was a, this collaboration was a thing. Made well with warm, which I think warm is a higher end kind of obscure brand. So yeah, I would be interested to see more of the items within this collab. This is a really pretty lightweight blouse. It's like a pin tucked blouse with a drawstring and faux wood beads there. And let's see what year this was from. It's in really good condition, so it must be newer. Spring 2020, and it is 100% cotton. So this tag, if you see this tag, this is a dead giveaway that the piece is newer. It's a do well kind of tag that they have recently started putting on their items. We have XCVI. I do like selling this brand. Some people search it out. It is like a lag and look type kind of vibe. It's like updated basics. This is a long line tunic top in a slub cotton with this sheer panel insert. Really pretty. We have Matilda Jane yet again, size large. This is so cute. It's a mini dress with a mismatched print to it, little sleeves, and a ruffle bottom hem, kind of like a lace crochet strip there, keyhole opening and back. This feels like a viscose or rayon. Yeah, 100% rayon, size large. I just grabbed these at the bins because they looked brand new. They're Nike dry fit and they're a size 2X, which I don't see very often. So I did wanna get these. I don't normally pick up less substantial kind of athletic wear stuff like this, but in great shape, size 2x i will not leave that behind they're lined they're really nice and practical we have more linen i feel like you guys are gonna get annoyed by this but this is for sure what i am wanting to pick up right now we have j jill size 3x which is awesome and this is a gorgeous i'm not sure what you would call this it's definitely heavier weight than a shirt I guess it would be a shacket actually, um, shirt jacket, just because, I don't know, it might still be a jacket, but it's, uh, I would say mid-weight for sure. It does have like a metallic weave to it, really pretty kind of textured material. Again, we have that mother of pearl buttons, so pretty. I think the rest, yeah, the rest are hidden buttons. I would have almost liked to see these not hidden, but that's okay. So yeah, here's the rest of the buttons. And it has pockets. It has a little bit of a, it's like a subtle kind of ruffle towards the bottom hem. Let me see what the 94% linen, polyester, and then metallic. So that's that sheen you see, but this is gorgeous. I would expect that to sell, I would say 40 to $50, just because it is such a substantial piece and the seasonality is on point for right now. We have more free people. This is a teal tank blouse with a lace shark bite hem. Really pretty, drapey. Stuff like this always flies out of my closet. Any of the dainty, kind of slip style stuff from Intimately Free People, size small. We have a brand on this says Bad Little Country Girl, which is kind of interesting. I think it's just like a boutique kind of thing, like a Western boutique, size small. But I thought this was so cute. It's a mustard print. And then it has, or it's not, this is not a print, mustard base color and then the back is printed. It's like a contrast floral sleeve and then just a very loud print throughout the back. And it is also 55% linen, 45% cotton. So all natural materials, a great uh, transitional weather type of piece just because it is, you know, it does have a lot of fabric there, but all the fabric is breathable. So we love that. 
Next up, we have an Urban Outfitters dress. I do like to pick up Urban Outfitters midi and maxi dresses and jumpsuits and skirts, especially if they are the newer tag, which this is size extra small. And this is super cute. It has a little button up at the chest with this kind of geometric print. You have a leg slit and smocking in back. It does have a side zip. Another excellent transitional weather piece. This is like a windbreaker style jacket. It almost looks like a seersucker kind of material, but it's just the print, not the material. Uh, and zip pockets, which is great add some extra security there. It has a high-low hem with a hood. The hood is kind of interesting. It goes up a little bit and then it has elastic here. So that's kind of fun. It is vented in back and yeah, it is vented. So really nice. And this is from Theory. This is the older tag from Theory, which I am mindful of, but the fact that this was in excellent condition, it really does not look like it was ever worn. And again, that seasonality, I had to get it. The full in interior is like a mesh. So this seems really well constructed. It's polyester and nylon. So yeah, really nice pickup there. Next we have a cardigan. I thought this was so cute. Another brand that I do leave behind quite a bit too by Vince Camuto. Vince Camuto's shoes sell pretty well for me, but clothing has never really moved. Actually, I don't know how many times I have even tried it out, but for whatever reason, I just have the feeling that there's not a super high demand for Vince Camuto clothing. However, I think this is adorable and it's a size extra, extra large, so I had to get it. Cardigans sell great for me. Love this kind of darker peach color with the nubby fabric, raw seams, and oversized kind of tortoise shell button down front. So really cute. Again, this is a nice springtime color. I feel like such a broken record on this, but I really do hone in on certain materials, colors, styles when the weather changes because you have to adapt with reselling to everything going on, especially seasons. That's your biggest like adapting thing, I would say. Zara Woman size small, chambray, split neck, boxy blouse with a, is that a half sleeve? Three quarter sleeve. I got this dress for several reasons. So first off, it looks brand new. It does still have the kind of tag stub here. It's also maxi length. It's a classic wardrobe staple black maxi dress. It's like a faux crossover front with a defined waist and then maxi length. So with it being a size large 14, I had to get that with it in excellent condition. Moving on, another kind of style based pickup. We have Charter Club, size extra large. This was a bins grab. It's very lightweight. I probably paid about a dollar for it. Gingham print with embro embroidered floral details super cute with the sleeve. Another pair of newer tag American Eagle jeans. These are a solid black high rise with some distressing at the knees, size zero regular. She goes, kind of going back to what I was saying, I have been loving picking up and selling Chico's. This one is a size three which is equivalent to 1618. It's like a poncho cut top, lightweight top. How cute would this be with some white 
pants and sandals. It's just 100% polyester, but it feels really nice, honestly. Okay, this is a fun piece. So I was just tossing some stuff around at the bins and I touched this and I was like, wow, what is that? That is the softest thing I have ever felt. And it turns out it is Gap's pajama slash loungewear line, Love by Gap. 89% modal, 11% spandex. This is your ideal fabric makeup, modal and spandex. Modal is the softest material. It feels like a very soft, like welcoming silk. I don't know how to describe it. It is a lounge jumpsuit. So I got this because loungewear has been huge for me jumpsuits i mentioned earlier sell great it's also in a leopard print and it is a newer piece i believe this was from 2020 so i'm excited to give this a new home i think someone will absolutely love lounging in this it feels brand new it has no pilling or signs of wear at all it looks like someone bought this tried it on and then donated it it's a size small it has adjustable straps, siding find here, St. John. I haven't found St. John in a while. It usually sells, I would say within three to four months for me around that $75 mark. This might go for closer to 50-ish because it's a little bit less substantial. I usually find the blazers. This is like a crossover front blouse. It is in their Santana knit, which is great. I think that's a wool rayon blend i could be wrong but uh Sa saint john santana knit is exclusive to saint john people search for it they know it they love it and so those are definite keywords you want to put in your listing if your item is made of that material next we have a new tags urban outfitter skirt retailed for 49 dollars this is once again the newer tag from Urban Outfitters. Midi skirt with a classic polka dot print. It is a true wrap skirt. So the waist tie kind of weaves through the waist and then ties on the side. You do have the material, you know, underneath. So true wrap, size extra small adorable we love classic prints like polka dot gingham plaid speaking of we have this express shirt kind of like that tropical zara shirt this is going to be hard to show it has like the same cut and sleeve actually which is funny this exaggerated kind of interesting sleeve here and then the back is a true wrap shirt with the wrap going around several times. Did I say this was Express? I think it's a size medium. Yes. I do not pick up Express. My pile is about to fall into my studio light. I do not pick up Express very often. However, if it is in a nice print like this with a super interesting cut or anything like that, I will totally get it. I would have picked that up if it were no brand. Moving on, we have Eileen Fisher. This is just a bundle item, closet staple, size small, 100% linen, magenta, scoop neck t-shirt. Looks brand new. This probably retailed for like $120, so couldn't leave it. We have Athleta. I love selling dresses like this from Athleta like their athleisure style dress this is a solid i would say 30 to 40 dollar sale v-neck with a ruched uh, skirt portion very soft this also looks brand new i don't know what was happening i was just finding so much stuff that it looked like people just tried on and then donated so i'm so happy that i am here to try to find it a new home polyester rayon and spandex so extremely soft and stretchy size small i thought this was adorable it checked a lot of boxes for me it's a romper very boho style with lots of detail so all of this floral that you're seeing is embroidered and then you have 
some kind of like lace crochet inserts a uh, chest high elastic at the waist high-rise shorts the brand is magnolia south which once again i'm sure is a boutique kind of brand and i mainly got these because they are an excellent cut size and condition once again looked brand new so they are these sky high straight extra high rise jeans with secret slim pockets in a size 16 also they were made in 2020 so for sure a newer on trend pair of pants i think straight pants which these are is more trendy than skinny at this point so really happy to find these i'm sure they will sell for around 20 to 25 dollars i picked them up for two so that's a win-win for buyer and me next we have matilda jane size small this is a cream colored tunic mini dress i'm not sure i guess it kind of depends on your height but it does have how many layers does this have one and then underneath you have a ruffle okay so just two it's just lined but really cute very feminine even more chambray we have gap size large uh, this was just a very substantial feminine flirty cute cut and style it has a tulip bottom hem and then this kind of askew button detail. This is also a true wrap dress, which I know I've mentioned it several times in the past, but true wrap style dresses and skirts do sell better for me than just like a crossover or a faux wrap kind of look. So yeah, I was happy to find this. It's in excellent condition, size large. I think this was also a newer kind of piece. Gap does include their manufacture date in their tags spring of 2019 so relatively new last couple pieces here we have an athleta essential tank top this took me forever to figure out when i was putting it on the hanger so i'm not gonna be able to figure it out but you kind of get the idea it's an essential black tank with some type of crossover back in a size large athleta also includes their dates and style numbers on their inside tags makes it super easy to list and our very last item is from urban outfitters this is an urban house label truly madly deeply in a size extra small wide v-neck slub cotton kind of tunic mini dress definitely more of a tunic because it does have some Kind of high side slits there love the neutral color this is a great kind of dress up or down top so that is absolutely everything for this huge 70 item 70 plus item haul i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did enjoy please feel free to leave me a thumbs up i should have all of this stuff listed by the time this video is uploaded so if you're curious my list price of anything or if you're interested in anything i will have the link to my poshmark closet down below don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see y'all soon. Bye guys.